So let's just begin and I want to ask you a question. Did you ever realize how often do we touch our forehead or rub our arms to feel better every time you feel stressed? Even when you are anxious or you have an examination coming up or any stressful interview, you sort of feel, you know, this, this is one of the gestures that we usually do, right? We all do it. And it sort of soothes us. Ever realize how soothing does it feel when someone strokes our head or when our mothers give us a good head massage? Feels good, right? Why do we feel that way? I'll come to that, but before I introduce this concept or this most important, you know, element of our life, I'll introduce myself. I'm Ekta Dikshit. I'm a psychologist, life and relationship coach. And I want you to do a little experiment. And that experiment is I want you to touch the fingertips of a person sitting next to you. You can use both your hands so that no one feels left out. So you can touch the fingertips of a person sitting next to you somewhat in this way. Okay. Are we ready? I'm going to count from 10 to 0. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Did you feel any tingling sensation while you were receiving or giving the touch? Yes. Did you feel the warmth? Yes. Why, did you, why did you feel that way? It's because the central nervous system requires it. It's because we humans are born with this self-calming mechanism that navigates emotion through touch and creates a social bond with self and even with others. Now, according to Tiffany Field, who is the director of Touch Research Institute of University of Miami. She says the absence of touch leads to anxiety, depression and even lowered immunity. You must be wondering how mental health is related to touch. Let me explain that to you. Now skin is the largest organ of our body. Are we all aware of that? It also turns out to be the first point of contact with the outer world. When a child is born, the mother is asked to hold the child as close as possible. The first thing first, to create the bond with the child. Now let me tell you that the child is born with only a vision of 30 meters. And that develops over a period of 4 weeks. But still has that bond with the mother and even with the outer world. How does that happen? It's because our skin cells, every time it sees a touch, it sends the information to the nerve cells which is right beneath. And the nerve cells detects the kind of touch that it has and based on it sends the signal to the brain. And brain then releases certain chemicals called oxytocin which is like the love hormone, or you call it the happy hormone like serotonin. Which is why we feel really good when someone touches us. Could be a handshake, could be a pat on the back, could be anything. Which is why we feel good about it. So it's a nerve cells that learns a lot about the surrounding and based on the decode that it makes, which is why certain uncomfortable touches can give you trauma and the comfortable ones leave you with peace. Now, why is it that we really need to learn about this? Why are we really thinking about it or learning about it? About the touch deprivation? Because during COVID-19, our tactile experience were affected the most. Where a lot of them experienced mental health issue only because they weren't touched enough. We all experienced COVID-19 pandemic with the social distancing and with a lot of, you know, protocols that we had in terms of maintaining a distance. No, 
to raise your hand if you really wanted to, you know, feel that comfort and touch from your family or maybe your loved ones. Raise your hand if, you know, you, you felt that void inside of you. Almost all of us. Despite of having people around us, we just couldn't be so close. Why is that? It, because every time we feel the touch, it releases the hormones inside of us to make us feel better, to make us feel good. And it said that touch is the only sense that we cannot live without. Because even if you're born blind, you can still read through braille. You know braille? That's the way through you read. It's a, it's a tactile code to read through. You can still feel the touch and understand the other person. Right? And in Romania, the orphans who were denied touch, like a comforting touch, because of the lack of caregivers, experienced a lot of psychological issues. And they grew up physically stunted. And that went on for the rest of their lives. Even this was proven in one of the experiments that was being done. Where two groups of, you know, like a football team was actually preparing for a game. And two groups were divided. Where one group was constantly motivated verbally with great training. Whereas the team two was motivated with great training as well as with regular pat on the back with the high fives and guess what guess what who won the team two because that regular pat the comforting touch boosted certain hormones in the body which motivated them to do better on the field talking about the same it's very important for us to understand that why it affects us. Like I said, if you find someone who's not feeling better in their life, someone going through mental health issues, anxiety, it could be PTSD, and that's what was experienced during the COVID-19 because there was a survey done during the COVID-19 and to your surprise that 68% of the participants were touch deprived. Out of which only 25% of participants were living alone. So Tiffany Field and her team were like really curious about what really made them go through touch deprivation despite of having the family around, despite of having people around. And to the surprise they got to know through this research that only 4% of people were touching, giving a compassionate touch to each other from the mother, from the loved ones, from the family members. Whereas 64% were really busy with their cell phones. Surprising, right? Raise and even if you did the same thing. Being, being really honest, I like that. Yeah. We were so busy with their cell phones, right? That we forgot that we need to give and receive comforting touch. And that's what happens with our body because there are different levels of hormones that reduces and increases when the touch is received and being given. So similarly, due to this study, it was learned that we need to understand that touch is the important sense, the tactile experience is vital and important in our life because it helps us in increasing our serotonin levels which hits our dopamine. You all know what dopamine is? A happy hormone which makes you feel good. Good. It makes you feel important in your own life. And it has a biological effect. That it increases your serotonin like I said. It lights up the happy part of your brain. And on a physiological level, it calms you down, it lowers your blood rate. In fact, it motivates you to do better and it improves your learning capacity. And on a psychological level, it just helps you feeling 
you know, having that feeling of belongingness, contentment, and improving your social bonds with others and even self. So it's not it's not to do only with others, but also to do with your own self. So, but why are we talking about this? Because it's important to understand that tactile experience can affect your entire being biologically, physiologically, and psychologically. And it's important that when you find someone experiencing some sort of discomfort in their life, a little pat on the back, a little rub on the hand, or maybe a little massage can really soothe the person. A little comfort can go a long way. And so as a child, I remember, like as a kid, every time I would visit any event, okay, like a family event, I would come back home feeling really sad and depressed because I would look up to my father, giving more hugs and comforting touch to others than to me. So I would feel really sad about it because I was looking forward to it. Also, little did I know that the lack of enough hug from, you know, comforting parents and the loved ones could leave me with anxiety attachment. And anxiety attachment can let you get into relationships which are emotionally available, emotionally unavailable. Which is why it's important to figure out that how a tactile experience, like an ideal tactile experience, can really transform your entire being. And which is why we humans need humans. And that's how COVID-19 has really affected us and our tactile experience, which in turn did affect our mental health on a very larger scale. So if you find someone who is not feeling good, what are you supposed to do? Give them a hug. With the consent, of course, please. Ja ke hug nahi kar lena. Ja ke, okay, because, yeah, like our psychologist told us to do that. Please. Consent is, of course, important. You have to safeguard yourself from the unsafe touches as well. But again, a little comfort, a little pat, a handshake can really go a long way. It can not only build your social bonds, but make you feel better about your own life and your own self. Because we humans need humans, and that's how we've been built that one, that how it will go a long way. So thank you so much.